Hi everyone, it's Nathan here. Welcome to our Pacific Boating step-by-step -step berthing video. This video will go through how to choose a safe berth, how to approach a marina or wharf safely, and things to look out for. Berthing doesn't need to be difficult, so let's go through the basic steps, and then we'll give you some additional tips to make the whole thing a lot easier. First, understand what type of wharf you are berthing at. Is it a floating or fixed wharf? Determine the easiest side of the wharf to berth on and your best approach angle. Berthing is easier if the wind is helping you towards the wharf and if possible have the stern facing the wind. This will give you a better handling of the vessel. Ensure your guests are all seated and are not distracting you from your berthing process. Make sure your bow thruster is on and you've done all your operational checks. Nominate a person to assist in the procedure and prepare the fenders at a height and position suitable for the wharf you are approaching. If you're on the 29 or 37 class cruiser, you'll need two fenders and you need to position one on the stern and the other at the widest part of the vessel around the midship's cleat. If you're using the 44 or 52 class cruisers, you'll need to position three fenders. Make sure you set the fenders at the correct height in relation to the wharf. Always have a stern fender and then position the two other fenders around the widest part of the boat. Next, prepare any lines you may need to secure the vessel. You will require a bow line and a stern line to secure the boat to the wharf and at least one springer to prevent forward and aft momentum and to keep the boat parallel to the wharf. Position your assistant just inside the rear of the vessel as you approach the berth. Approach the wharf in a straight line on your ideal angle, usually 20 to 45 degrees, very slowly. Rotate the vessel at the appropriate moment to get the vessel sliding slowly and parallel with the wharf. Slow the vessel to complete stop at the wharf have your assistant secure your vessel to the wharf, stern line first, then bow and spring lines as necessary. Once the stern line is secure and the boat is stationary in the water, the bow can be brought into the wharf by bow thrusting towards the wharf. In more adverse conditions, you can place the outside engine in forward gear with no throttle. For a single engine vessel, turn the wheel towards the wharf before engaging the engine. Just remember that you should never leave the steering wheel whilst any engines are in gear. With berthing, it is extremely important that you be mindful of the safety procedures and strictly adhere to them. Never allow a member of your crew to stand on the swim platform until you have finished manoeuvring and are secure on the marina. Some of our vessels weigh more than 10 tonne. With this weight and momentum, a person can easily injure a finger or get their arm or leg caught. Okay, that's berthing. Now I'll take a look at some of the most common questions we get asked. The wind will play a key factor in parking a vessel as it will ultimately try and push the vessel bow first sideways from the direction of the wind. Tide and water flow may also have an impact on the berthing process. You'll need to keep an eye on the water movements and how the boat is sitting prior to attempting to berth. To work out the direction of the wind, the easiest thing to do is look for a flag in the vicinity, look at the direction of any vessels facing on a swing mooring, or if there's not one around, stand on the deck and feel the wind in your face. With most marinas, you'll need to book a berth to stay, but speak to them directly to find out how long you can stay for. You are not allowed to use private marinas on the waterways and ferry wharves are not to be used at any times. So that's it for berthing. Remember if you're out in the water and have any problems, then please don't hesitate to give the office a call. Otherwise, I hope you found this video useful and for any more training tips and videos, make sure you check out our website, pacificboating.com.au. Thanks for watching.